everyone. Um, it will be a shorter stream tonight. Um, my cold that I have had for a few days now is for some reason deciding that it wants to get worse, if not better. Um, I've been taking it easy, drinking lots of tea, taking all kinds of like zinc and vitamin C and all this other nonsense and it's still not getting better. So, um, I don't know. I've been, I slept 13 hours today. I got up to walk the dog and feed the dog and then walk again. And that's all I've done today. I just put in a load of laundry. I guess that's the exciting part of my day. I was supposed to do fun and exciting things today, and that has not happened. Um, I am missing out on a birthday party for one of my best friends. I am, my mom was gonna come and help me organize some things for some projects that I'm um, trying to get finished, but need just like an, a little extra hand and boost for, and um, I'm, I'm here. My voice doesn't sound great, um, but I am here and I am cooking because even when you're sick, you I need to eat, and I didn't want to do, like, literally anything else in the house. Um, this meal is exciting to me. I'm just not sure if it's exciting right now. <laughs> um, but let me go turn on one more light and turn on this light so that we have a little brighterness. Um, tell me if the shirt is too busy for this stream or not. Um, I know that stripes didn't work out. This um, pattern I hope is not crazy for you guys to look at if it is I can always switch to a plain color that's not a problem I have other clothes um, <coughs> if I cough I'm sorry I can't help it right now um, and but tonight is chicken sausage with date sweetened Brussels sprouts and squash they did a lot of the prep for me so I'm really looking forward to a nice and easy meal tonight um, it does say it's a one pan meal, um, it's roasted vegetables and chicken sausage, so I'm excited about that, because it sounds so good, and it looks really good. I love Brussels sprouts when they're done, like, well, uh, we're gonna preheat the oven first, because I don't want that to be what trips us up later, so we're gonna put it on 350. We're good there. Okay. This is going to be nice and easy right now. Let me get a big enough pan for tonight. Um, it should need a full sheet. So I just washed a whole bunch of dishes, which is why I'm on a little bit later. I needed to find the, um, the sink so I could put stuff in it. But it says... To put the chicken sausages, which I have two chicken sausages. I kind of wish they'd given me more. Like I said, a lot of the meals that we get, if they made like a two and a half to three person meal, it would be so much more convenient. Um, it looks like my sausages are a little, um, well, let me cut them apart. For some reason, they're attached still. Let me, oh, that's not, I don't even know why that's there. Let me cut those apart. There we go. Um, I have two sausages. It says to put them in the oven once it's preheated. So we'll let that heat up a little bit. We're going to put it in the preheated oven just until they're starting to brown. So just like between 5 and 10 minutes. Once it gets hot, um, I do have it on convect bake. So we're probably looking at like 7 minutes, give or take, for that. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's um, a good thing. So while the oven is preheating and then the sausages are going to cook, we're going to, um, it says to carefully peel the butternut squash. They already peeled the squash for me. Let me get these ingredients and we'll go over that first. Um, sorry, I'm a little disorganized at the moment. I'm trying not to be, but I am. And thank you for anybody that's joining me. I know it's Saturday night. I know it is here. Um, for some people, it's a little earlier in the day. Let me turn off my phone. Oh, I probably am going to get a phone call, so maybe not turn it off. But you might hear some pings. Um, I do have um, 
some people that I'm doing consulting work for right now that I am, while I am homesick, they are out and about and doing things. Um, <coughs> I actually have to work on a Photoshop project, which um, should be entertaining. Um, I learn something new about Photoshop every time I use it, and I might actually solicit some help from some people for this one because it may be a little beyond my scope at the moment. Um, but we're preheating the oven. It says, so the, the ingredients are pretty simple. Garlic cloves, two garlic cloves, check. Um, half pound of Brussels sprouts, check. Butternut squash, check. Um, it is chopped up. I think it's because they had really big butternut squashes. Um, and this is also for um, only two people versus like four people. So they wouldn't need to give me a giant squash for that. Um, I have my medjool dates. I have my fresh thyme. I have my chicken sausage behind me. From my kitchen, I just need pepper, some salt, and some olive oil, so nice and easy, which is what I'm looking for this evening. <clears throat> so we're gonna, um, it says carefully peel the butter and squash. They already did that for me, and then they already like cut it lengthwise and scooped out the seeds. It says cut the squash into bite-sized chunk and place in a large bowl. What am I going to do with these in that bowl? I want to know. Mm, it doesn't say. Oh, yeah, we're going to be mixing stuff with it. So um, they are sending in plastic bags at the moment, which is fine. Um, I am going to trim a little bit off the edges. I'll show you guys why. Um, but let me get a bowl first. I'm going to use my one of my metal bowls, actually, today. Um, just because I find it easier to do what I think they're going to want me to do, which is toss them. And let me get a knife for this. What knife do I want today? I'll go with this one. This one's a nice one. So I'll show you why I'm going to cut some more off. I don't like the outer rind of the, um, let me bring you to the island. I don't like the outer rind of squash. So see where it's a different color. I don't like it that thick. I like it um, so that it's just the orange part here. So I'm going to trim it a little bit more. Just be, That's a personal preference thing. It doesn't absolutely need to be done. It's just something that I prefer. So I'm going to cut that part off and then cut them into more of a bite-sized chunk because these are a little bigger than um, I consider bite size. But I do appreciate that this work was done for me because now I don't have to do all of it. Um, I probably could have done this with a peeler, but I'm doing it this way. And I'm going to do each piece one at a time. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm going to do it in like cubes, little cubes. So this is the size that these are, is like this size. And I'm cutting it into these sizes. This is a much more manageable size for a bite size for me. Um, I know that if I had kids, this would be more manageable versus this um, big giant chunk. So let me trim down. Actually, let me trim down a bunch of these, and then I'll cut all of them at once. It might be, it's probably going to be easier if I do it all like that, get a little assembly kind of thing going. I did get this meal, these meals on Tuesday, so... I am a little behind the eight ball on this. I, um, my brain had to do some catching up. Um, thankfully, I had this week off, weekend off, so I had Thursday through, I have Thursday through Tuesday off this week, which has been really nice. Um, I can't, um, I can't believe I have a cold this entire time. I'm not really happy about that part, but I am okay with the ability that I was able to take that time off because I was supposed to do some go away this weekend, um, but I got sick and that just isn't feasible when you're sick. I might still go out tomorrow, depending on how I feel, um, and see you know <clears throat> how that is. I'm not really sure if that's going to be a reality or not in my life for tomorrow. But we will see. Um, I'm hoping it is um, because I have um, had some things I wanted to do. But 
Um, it probably isn't, and I don't want to push it because while I don't go back to work till Tuesday, I want to enjoy the rest of my days off versus be stuck. And I know Monday and Tuesday I had other plans that I definitely need, like need to do, not like want to do, like doctor's appointments and things. And I don't like to call out from them if I don't have to. Um, though today I was supposed to have a hair appointment and I woke up and I was like, oh, I should really just call my hairdresser and cancel. This is miserable. And then she, she actually texted me and she was like, oh, I need to cancel today. I'm so sorry. And I'm like, it's okay. I was only getting a haircut because um, I can't, I, I'm kind of stuck on what I should do with my hair at the moment for its color wise. It was um, like a magenta and a really nice teal and a blue like a dark deep nice blue and a purple um, but right now I don't I just don't know what I want to do with it let me throw these away um, I am going to be getting a composting bucket to put on the counter while I'm doing this these things so that um, just this time of year is not conducive to going out to the compost and I don't have like a system yet and um, once I get a system, I think it will be much more feasible. So these I'm going to cut, because this was a really big piece, I'm just going to cut these down into the little cubes a little further. And then this one should be, is pretty decent, but I'm still going to cut it into the smaller pieces. This also will make it so that I can eat quicker, and so I can get off stream quicker, because they're going to cook quicker. Um, I love you guys, but I can't be on super long today because I um, don't want to overdo it and the only reason why I'm streaming is because I have to eat and that is the most important thing right now is that I just need to eat something um, I could have cheated and just made the pizza which if I get hungry later because I did sleep till three in the afternoon today um, and I'm not taking a nap which I'm kind of actually surprised and happy about uh, I will um, make the pizza later because I had made that pizza sauce earlier in the week. I'm hoping that, you know, keeping up with the good food instead of like ordering takeout or something because I don't feel 100% is going to make me better faster, but I don't know. And I've been trying to avoid going out. Like I did some errands earlier in the week um, at the very end of this week, and that was fine. But I made sure to really like limit my time out of the house so that I can recoup. And I'm, I woke up this morning and I'm like, how am I? How am I worse? How do I feel worse? How does? How is my nose worse? <laughs> um, my cough was worse this morning, and I'm like, I do know it's not the flu, so that's good. I know it's actually a cold, um, though I'm, you know all that fun stuff going around lately, but there has not been a confirmed case in New Hampshire of coronavirus, so I'm okay. I do know it got a name this week, I guess, um, but I haven't read those articles because I'm, I'm trying to stay just enough abreast of everything that I am informed, but not so immersed that I, like, make my mind think too much <laughs> about like all the things going on okay so there's that let me just find where is it <coughs> sorry guys mm -hmm. and yes I use the term guys and I'm sorry if that is not anyone's cup of tea I um I'm still trying to get out of that habit of that and thank you anyone that's watching this on a Saturday night with me <laughs> I greatly appreciate y'all so we put that in the bowl awesome so I'll just do that now rinse and trim the Brussels sprouts that's easy enough oh let me rinse these in my strainer over here. Rinse them first. Then I'll peel all the outers off and trim them up a little bit. Um, some of them might, are a little bigger, so I might cut the bigger ones in half. 
they do seem to be a little on the chunky side for some of them. Um, they're not all uniform, but that's just the nature of a stock of Brussels sprouts. They're not all going to be the same. Some will be bigger than others. Okay, so there's that. Let me get the towel to dry those off on. Oops, I forgot that I had done that. I'm going to have to rethink that life guys. I had put the um, cast iron grill away, and that wasn't my brightest idea. Ooh, I'm going to actually, I can put the chicken sausage in the oven right now. Put that in there. Set a timer, which is the main reason I actually have my phone right now. Uh, let's see, timers. We're going to do, I said seven minutes because I have it on convection, but it said um, anywhere from five to ten where it's about to, like it's just browning because we're going to be putting them in again later. So let me dry off these Brussels sprouts. Oh, I have rosemary and thyme. I didn't know I had both of them. Why didn't I know I have both of them? Oh, because they package them together. At least I know the difference between them. Much better. Okay, let's get these. Let's get these chopped up. Let me bring these over here onto this. We can move the towel out of the way. We will put it there though, because there's a glare on that. Oh, did I remember to finish washing? Nope, I didn't. I have a second one, but I haven't done anything with it yet for a um, garlic press. Those don't look bad. This one doesn't look great. It is much nicer to peel these off, though, when you cut the bottom off. I don't, I don't know why I was doing it differently. I was peeling them first and then. I mean, do you guys really want to watch? Here, you can come up here and watch me for a little bit. Um, that was just the oven saying that it was ready. Am I putting these also in? Oh, coarsely chop and add to the squash and Brussels sprouts. Okay, so I'm putting the Brussels sprouts also in this bowl. That's good to know. So, oh, we're going to cut it in half lengthwise anyway, so that's good. Let me get these all trimmed up, and then we'll cut them in basically in half. I don't, I'm very picky about my Brussels sprouts. So see, I was going to cut them down anyway, some of the larger ones, so it'll be nice and nice and simple to just do a whole bunch um, of cutting in all to make them more uniform for cooking. Okay, there we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm kind of excited. I like me some Brussels sprouts when they're like really nice, good Brussels sprouts. Um, I've been binging... Um, well, I was playing games on my phone, and then I was binging Law and Order, um, Special Victims Unit, because that's one of my favorite shows. I'm trying to keep these separated so I know which ones I've done and not. Not that it's hard to figure that out. There's a lot of, um, ugh, come on, a lot of, um, difference in color. Uh, I told Jillian to make herself some food earlier because she was like, oh, what are we having? And I was like, well, I'm about to cook it, but I have to, like, get dressed and, like, figure out exactly what we're eating tonight because I wasn't, I was leaning towards this meal, but I hadn't, like, definitely picked this meal. I was still a little on the fence about it because I didn't know how um, labor-intensive it was going to be, and it is not that labor-intensive. Sometimes, um... This recipe kit that I use, Local Basket, here in New Hampshire can be a little more labor intensive, um, which I quite enjoy because I learn all kinds of new things. But um, when I'm sick, that's not really what I want to be doing is 
And I know that a couple other people that do cooking are on right now. Um, so that's good. I know um, Jillian is downstairs, not streaming, but she is playing her role-playing game downstairs with some friends um, online. Oh, this one just doesn't want to doesn't want to be a thing. Sometimes they're just just sometimes the coloring is not the color I'd like. Like big brown spots. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with the big brown spots. That's not my favorite t um, color for a Brussels sprout. I'm sure I've been fed them numerous times. I just have never, you know, made them in my own kitchen. Come on, one more layer, people. Let's go. One more layer. One more layer. And sorry if I'm not entertain as entertaining as usual. I'm, um, my ears hurt. My throat hurts a little bit. I did take um, some cold stuff, though not the cold stuff I, like, I don't have all of the cold stuff in the house and I haven't gotten to that yet, so getting to the store, I'll, I'll go to the store tomorrow, um, especially if I'm still feeling miserable or I'll have Jillian go to the store tomorrow and get me some different cold medicine than what we have at the house, just something to m hopefully mix this up. Okay, so we're doing these lengthwise here on here so let me oops that's not the one I wanted I want the island the island that one doesn't even look like I trimmed it did I forget to trim that one I pulled all its things off but I forgot to trim it good job oh. there we go just as lengthwise so I'm just gonna chop these um a, one of these at least one of these big ones I'm gonna chop a little bit different. Oops, that's not how I should have done that one, but that's okay. Oh, these are going to be so good. It is also Valentine's Day weekend, so I know lots of people have plans this weekend. Um, Mine are kind of on hold. I was supposed to do all sorts of things with my wife, and I wasn't able to do that because I am not feeling well, um, which is disappointing. I'm cutting these two giant ones into quarters. They just are so huge, so I'm just cutting them in lengthways twice. Okay, let's go back to this screen. Um, I am next going to, um, what am I doing? Rinsing the rosemary and the thyme. So usually I've been doing these, the step all at once, and I, for some reason, am not tonight. I, like, rinse everything at once, and I don't know what, oh, there's the, there's the chicken timer. Let's see if it's browned enough. Let me turn off that timer. Stop being annoying. Are they browned? Uh, they could use a few more minutes. So we'll do up until 10. Let me get a couple more minutes on there. Um, three more minutes for that. Um, I'm drying these. So we're going to rinse the rosemary in time, remove the leaves from the seven, and then we're going to coarsely chop them and add them to squash and Brussels sprouts. Let me get my little thing here, because this is the best way to do it, really. Let me get all this Brussels sproutness out of the way. <clears throat> okay, I feel like this is so much rosemary. This is a ridiculous amount of rosemary. Am I supposed to put all of this in here? I think I'm going to do it till taste because this is a lot of rosemary. It's only one spring, but it feels like a lot of rosemary. And the last time I put in um, all the rosemary, that's literally all you could taste was rosemary. So I think I'm going to cut back a little bit on this because this is really strong, good rosemary. Um, I am going to do them separately. 
for chopping them up just um, so that I have a little bit more control over the amount that I put in um, and so it's a little more evenly matched. <coughs> Hello, thank you guys for watching tonight. Tonight is gonna be a quicker stream just because um, one, they um, they did do a lot of prep for me at the very beginning. I still did do some more chopping of some things, but it is, um, I also have a cold, so I will not be as energetic in this stream. But thank you for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. Um, and thank you for supporting me in this endeavor. So that's the rosemary. I'm gonna actually put this in a little dish, um, which I don't usually do. I just, there's such, it looks like such a disparity between the rosemary and the thyme that I don't want it to be overwhelming in one way or the other. This is probably the, the most obnoxious part of thyme, especially when it's fresh, is that you have to take all the little tiny leaves off their stems. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just more time consuming. Um, and I have a whole bunch, hold on, let me, this is how many I have, um, is like all of these need to be stripped so it's going to take me a minute to do that oh. we're going to stop that we're going to pull that's not my pot holder we're going to pull this pan out of the oven which looks like it's just starting to brown for the um, chicken sausage which I've been told is not real sausage because real sausage comes from pigs um, according to some people in my life I wonder if she's on because then she'll be like it's not not at all. So we're going to remove it and use tongs to move the sausage. Oh, we're going to make let the sausages. Hi. We're going to let the sausages rest on a plate while I'm doing all this other stuff. So let me grab a plate and do that so they don't keep cooking on the tray. Um, let me get in there. Let me get a plate real quick. Um, I had a pair of tongs that I ended up putting them away. I guess I did. I still have to redo this, like, setup. <laughs> but I haven't done that yet. So we're going to remove these off of here. I'll just put them over there. Um, I haven't finished the, um, the Brussels sprout squash mixture yet. So... We're gonna, it's gonna, that pan unfortunately is gonna be out of the oven for a couple minutes until I finish that. It might not actually be that bad. Oh, just so everybody knows, I did, I read this article the other day about um, the different um, flours that they use to make biscuits down south. And I was really excited about this and I reached out to some friends and I have several bags of flour showing up on Monday well they're gonna ship Monday so they're not gonna show up on Monday um, so I'm excited I'm very excited for that this rosemary and thyme actually might not be too far off I just don't want it didn't want it to be super overpowering in one flavor or another and that's kind of it's just one of the things that you have to learn doing some of these recipes is that they they do it to a specific taste like this particular meal kit gives me a ton of red pepper and a ton of like paprika and things when they send their kits um, just in case you want it on the more heat size 
side of things um, for some of their dishes because I used to just put it all in and then I learned my lesson. <laughs> that was not a bright idea. It said coarsely chop. I guess that's coarsely chopped. I can't really coarsely chop time. I don't know how you coarsely chop time considering it's always already a tiny leaf. I feel like coarsely chop means like a specific size. I'm sure it's not. I'm sure that that cooking term means something completely different than what I'm thinking of in my head. Okay, so let's mandolin this just a little bit. Um, it's more, um, I found that a lot of the chopping of herbs is to get the aromatics going so that you like open up their I don't know what word I would use for that. But you open them up a bit to like release their flavor into the things you're making. Oh yeah, this isn't that bad. So this, yeah, okay. So I had separated the rosemary out because I was very concerned about how strong it was going to be. But it looks like they're literally like equal parts. Um, my dog unfortunately has to go out. Why does he have to go out right now? I fed him. Oh, that's because I fed him a while ago. And now he's, oh, this does smell really good. Hold on one second. Let me get this in the oven, and then I'm going to go walk my dog real quick. Um, but in the meantime, when I'm, once I'm, when I'm outside, I will turn off my mics. And I will also um, do um, um, oh, I have to do the garlic, too. Mince or press the garlic and then add squash and then, oh, I forgot there's dates and things. Um, I wonder if I can get the princess to come up from the basement because she loves me to come walk the dog. Um, she's playing her game down there. Ugh, that's a big brown spot. I don't like that. I accidentally left these in the fridge with all the other ingredients and you're not supposed to do that with garlic. Garlic shouldn't be refrigerated. It creates into a giant mush and definitely do not put whole garlic in the freezer. It just creates a big old problem. On. Let me just step off for just two seconds from peeling that garlic. be hungry. I can't remember if I fed him tonight or not. I thought I did. I thought I did hours ago, but I could be wrong. Let me grab the press. I do have two presses, but this one's not my favorite. Um, it is more convenient. <laughs> For, wait a minute. I haven't gotten a response back, so that might be a no. Now he's going to be under my feet the entire time. It says, so we added all that stuff here. Now we're going to um, drizzle this mixture with the olive oil, which how much olive oil? It doesn't really say. It just says drizzle. So if we have to add more oil, we will. But for right now, and I'll show you all what it looks like in the pan, in the bowl, in two seconds. Um, oh, salt and pepper, salt and pepper. I've been using a lot more salt than usual, um, than I usually do, just because it's been very different. So yeah, we're just going to toss that around. I might actually get a spoon to like mix it a little bit, but oh, I meant to show you guys what it looks like, but here it is now as I'm tossing. It's a little too loud. I apologize. Um, 
but everything's in there. Whoop, don't eat that. Ugh, where did it go? I lost a rogue Brussels sprout and well, I'm sure it wouldn't be bad for him. I don't really want to do that. So it says to toss it. Um, I am going to get in there with my hand and just make sure everything's incorporated really well, which it appears to be, which is good. Like even the garlic and everything is all, it seems to be really well dispersed. Um, somewhere in, oh, I forgot the dates. I forgot to add the dates. So now I have to do, go back and do the dates. Um, they may actually already be pitted for me. Let me, I need a different towel. Sorry, guys. Oh, here's one. Um, actually, I might just be able to go through some food in a dish for my dog, so I'll be right back. Give me two seconds. Okay, so I can't believe I forgot about the dates. The dates are actually in the title, and I forgot about them. Go figure. Well, that's a recycling thing. We can clean that out. Just trying to make some space for us here. Get all these little pieces of everything out of the way. Make it a little easier to see what I'm doing, even for myself. So, uh, pit the dates, which I believe have already been done because there's no pit that I can see. No nope, pit date is pitted. Good. So we're going to coarsely chop these. Get them really nice and I'm going to do them in um, more like a, um, so I'm doing it this way. I could have done it a different way, which actually would have made my life a little easier. <laughs> we'll do it the other way with the other one. Um, I'm going to make them into like little cubes, I guess you could call it. Ugh. That one I cut lengthways, and that was, um, I mean, it didn't really make my life that much easier, but it did make it a little easier because now I have to go through and cut each of these individually instead of, you know, just going down. Let's see. Make those. I do enjoy dates. Dates and figs are really nice. Just a little. You just add a little bit to certain things. There we go. Okay, now we can add this, and then I have to re-toss that whole entire mixture. So let's just toss it like this. That will be probably more successful in that department for tossing. wash my hands. I know, I wash my hands a lot. <laughs> I just don't like it to be... Um, okay, let's see, we're going to... Next step, yay, next step. 
we're going to spread the squash mixture onto the baking sheet and then we're going to put the sausages back in with them and then we're going to bake it for about 20 minutes um, give or take probably 20 minutes is going to be good and then we're gonna ooh, we're gonna caramelize the sausages under the broiler, ooh. and we'll only do that for like a minute. So let me bring it over to where we're gonna spread them out. So we're spreading them out on here. Wow, that's a that is a, a lot of vegetables. I want to lay them in a single layer. We don't want there's plenty of room on this sheet tray to be able to do that. Um, what did it say about the sausage? It said to just nestle them in there. Do I put them? So, okay. I could have just, well, that's fine. So we're going to put them back like almost exactly where they're, but I'm going to flip them over um, to get the browning on the other side, not just on one side. But, and if we nestle everything up nice and close. We'll, I'm going to spread around some of these dates to, because for some reason some areas are a little more concentrated than others with dates. I'm just going to put that in there. I'm going to take these little rogue leaves away um, because those will not cook the same as the rest and then they'll get really brown and we don't really want that, I don't think anyway. We're going to nestle these up against this. And then we're going to put it in the oven for about 20 minutes. Um, maybe I will do something in between them. Let me see what would be quick and easy for me to do in the meantime. Um, I don't really want to make cookies or anything. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Let me do this this view again. Um, I don't need this anymore, so I can put that over here. Don't need this anymore. So let's clean up clean up the kitchen a little bit. <coughs> That's a good thing. Um, I just had somebody ping me because I asked, please tell me anything um, that oh, I should get through Pampered Chef because I am um, going to place an order this evening or tomorrow morning, and then I'm hosting one next month, so um, you'll probably see a <laughs> post that says, hey, you should come and you should check this out. Um, I will post links and things um, mainly through my personal but I will also post it here also um, let me know if this shirt is too busy for this channel I really like it it's quite cute I should be wearing it with black pants but which is part of the reason why I'm not showing it differently um, is that I should wear it with like black um, or like a navy would probably be fine but I'm wearing it with blue jeans and um, it just doesn't look as good if it was a darker wash probably would look fine Oops, so I have my timer going. Let me grab, hmm, I'm trying to think if there's anything that I really want to do for baking right now. Um, oh, I could make banana bread. That's wicked easy. Let me grab my banana bread recipe. Um, this will be one of, so I, um, for personal recipes, I do not put them here online, um, for you guys to view, um, for meals. Um, I instead go, um, and put them on my Patreon, any personal recipes. 
So recipes that I've either got in through family friends or um, with their permission, of course, um, or recipes that I have gotten through my family. This is actually banana bread is muffin's favorite. Um, I should actually shoot a picture or update my Instagram rather to be like, hey, come look at this. Um, do, 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 do. What should I do for a picture for this? I mean, my bananas look kind of like sad. Like, they're supposed to look sad. That's what you're supposed to use. <laughs> this is the, um, probably the last stage that you want to want to use these at. Nice and brown, and they're not like growing any weird spots or anything, which is nice. Let me get on here. I'm trying, oh, I made myself a cup of tea like forever ago. Let me get my cup of tea and then I can think more straight. <coughs> Sorry, that is reason. One of the reasons, oh, I didn't even turn the tea water on earlier, good job. But I do have a cup of tea um, that I will have momentarily in my cute little Star Wars mug. But for now, I will have this. Sorry, I have multiple cameras going and it's really messing with my brain tonight. And I don't know why because I always have multiple cameras. But let me get out all the ingredients and everything so that we can make some bread. Um, let me get out something better to... Because I don't actually need any of this. Like I don't need a cutting board right now, but I'm going to put one up just to showcase my bananas because right now that was pretty brutal for against this backdrop. That I love granite countertops because you can put hot things on them. I do not, however, enjoy that it's a not a good background <laughs> for taking pictures, which most people aren't taking pictures of everything. Sorry, I needed to move my recipe out of the way. And this, I believe, cooks at a different temperature. No, it books, cooks at the same temperature. Um, for my directions, it does say one hour. I cook them for an hour and 10 minutes for my, um, for this, because it just doesn't, hold on, let me take a good picture of these bananas. Get these on the internet. So everybody knows what's going on. Hope need to. How do I make this happen? Wanna? No, I know there's a way to do this. Instagram, come on, help me. Mm, I guess that's easy. No, that's not what I want. Ugh. Instagram, be nice to me. I forget. So I have a background in some. Uh, some photo video and I always forget that my cropping that I already do doesn't translate to like Instagram especially because they use square photos um, so I made this all pretty and I have to change it also um, your phone just naturally does weird things. Oh, you can see every knife mark in this, <laughs> on this cutting board in this picture. Oops. No, why are you cancel? There we go. Much better. Bonus recipe or bonus cooking. Bonus dessert. Bonus baking. Why can't it spell things correctly tonight? <clears throat> so 
So I'm saying I have bananas that are perfect for baking banana bread. And I have 15 minutes before the next step. I wonder if banana bread's a hashtag. It would help if I spelled banana right. It would also help if I can handle. Oh, God. Banana bread, hashtag banana. I'm also doing hashtag banana. Why not? Do that. We're gonna do 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 do. do. Sorry, guys. I'm <coughs> not as energetic, so I'm taking my time doing things. I'm gonna wait two seconds before I start doing that. But let me get a bowl out and let me get um, some of the ingredients out. Um, so here's a bowl. There's my bananas. I need some measuring cups. So, um, one cup of that. Oh, it needs three bananas. I only have two bananas. Oh, that's going to be banana bread with only two bananas. That makes me sad. What did I do? I thought I had three bananas. I must have eaten the other one before it, like, was quite ready to turn over. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yes, I'm making, getting ready to make banana bread. Oops. Oh, look, that, that's a really ripe banana there. So I'm just going to put that there. I'm just getting together all my um, ingredients and getting together all my supplies so that we can just go with the banana bread because the banana bread doesn't take that long. Um, so I need sugar, um, egg, flour, melted margarine. Um, we use butter in my house. Um, instead of margarine, it comes out the same as it did when I was little using margarine. Um, I also have recipes that call for like shortening and things. Those are harder <laughs> to substitute. Uh, baking soda and salt. So let me grab all my ingredients first. So baking soda, check. I got sugar, check. I need flour, check. And for those not on earlier, I did order some flour. Well, I didn't order. I got my friends to send me some flour from down south so I can make some cool southern dishes like biscuits. Um, so I got bananas. I only have two bananas. I think it will be okay. It just won't be as banana-y. Um, a cup of sugar, blah, blah, blah. Oh, an egg. I need an egg and I need salt. salt I have over here. Oops. Um, if you want this recipe, it will go up on my Patreon. Um, I'm still working through since the Patreon has changed a little bit. Um, I did revamp my levels, but um, let me know if you go over there and you see um, that something's different. I do actually have to update a bunch of stuff um, in that um, let's see, what else? Oh, the egg. I need the egg. And I need the butter. Um, is it unsalted? It doesn't, oh, because it's margarine. It doesn't say. So I'm going to do, un, uh, do I even have any unsalted in here? I only have salted right now. Huh. Come on. I have that European butter, which is in a giant block, and I really need to, I need to defrost some. <laughs> it's what I really need to do. Oh, I came in here for an egg. Where's my egg? And I bought some more eggs. This is like a giant egg. What is, it, what is going on? 
I'm very confused by these eggs. I'm just gonna get the get the other eggs. Sorry, you can all see inside my refrigerator now. Didn't mean for that to happen. Pretend you didn't see anything. You're fine. Oh, let me get this out of the way. So this is going to be um, pretty easy. This is like the easiest recipe ever. Um, there's not much to it. So we're going to take the bananas. Let me zoom in on the island so you can see, but we're not going to let you see the recipe. Sorry, folks. you got to pay for that. <laughs> So there's one banana, oops, that's not part of the banana, that's part of the stem. That's one banana, I mean this is two banana. Um, I will put the bowl, once these bananas are gone, I will put the bowl onto the cutting board so you guys can see a little better um, versus looking down onto the island that can be a little bit much. So then we're going to mash these. Um, I just mash them with a wooden spoon, nothing fancy. Like nothing, like literally nothing fancy. I just smush them with a wooden spoon. Um, they're supposed to be three. I only had two. I thought I had enough and I had already sent out the post that said I was making these. So sorry guys. Um, I will also, I have to ch change the lighting for you guys um, on this. I feel like it's not as good as it could be for you guys to see into the bowl. Oh, my tea water should be ready too. That's nice, that'll be nice. I don't want my tea. I do have to let it steep a little bit, so. Um, I have these tea bags right now that I use in these giant, <laughs> like this giant cup, and because uh, it's uh, probably a 16-ish ounce cup mug, um, and I also do a little bit of this. If you use too fresh of a banana, it will not mash this way. It will mash completely different, and it just makes your day a sad day because it won't taste the same either because fresh bananas just don't have that same aromatics, I guess you could call it. Okay, there we go. I'm going to do, 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 do. Now we're gonna put, it says to stir in all the other ingredients. I am gonna go melt that butter first. So it says a quarter cup of melted margarine, um, which is what? Is that a whole stick, half a stick? Um, quarter cup, so half a stick, half a stick of butter. Um, if anybody wants to help me figure out the conversion on that, that'd be great, into um, like a weight or something, because I am currently using a brick of butter versus a... Um, Versus, oh, there it is. There's the one I use. I use like the same mug almost all the time for this, <laughs> and it's I don't know why. It's just now the the thing that I use. Oh, don't want to use that one. That I just used that on dinner. Ugh. Let me use a different knife. That's gross. Let me use a. Uh, I don't want to use a paring knife. Do I? Paring, paring, yada yada. I'll do this one. So I'm gonna melt probably more butter than I need. <laughs> but I wanna make sure that I melt enough. Actually, I can just measure this against half a stick of butter. Uh, nope, that's not quite enough. So, don't mind me. I'm being safe, I promise. Um, do a little bit more. This is probably gonna be too much butter and I'm okay with that, actually. <laughs> Um, we'll see how this comes out because I'm making some changes to this recipe as I'm going along. Um, and I don't know if it's going to come out quite the same because I don't have enough bananas. 
and all this. Um, I just need to melt my butter real quick. I do do that in the microwave. It just makes my life easier. But we can put in all the other ingredients now. So I usually put my dry ingredients in first. I find it a little easier to do it that way. Um, and then put my wet ingredients on top because I already have technically a wet ingredient on the bottom. So I need one and a half cups of Okay, I need one and a half of this. There's one. Um, if you're celiac, please don't come in my kitchen. Um, I mix my flour and sugar together quite often. That's just the way my kitchen rolls. So I don't have to do as many dishes because I'm not about dishes. Though I did do dishes before I got on today. What else do I need? Oh, I need some baking soda. And I need some salt. And then I need my egg and my butter. Let me find my... That's the right size. I need to get different measuring spoons so I needed that and then I need oh, I needed the spoon I didn't need the here's some I don't know if anybody else has this that they use all the brands that they used when they were younger I actually was watching a Criminal Minds episode the other day that they were talking about that that in the episode they were Chasing somebody, obviously, that's what that show's all about. They were chasing somebody, and they were like, oh, we need, oh, that's not melted yet. Um, and they, um, were, there was a kid that was involved, and they kept saying, you know, what you make for breakfast for your kids is what your parents made for you. Um, when you were a kid and down to the same brand and everything and I think that's very true um, a lot of people that is exactly what they do in their lives and I would be no different if I had kids I'm sure okay I did get out a quarter cup though it's a not a liquid measure it's a solid measure which should be fine just to pour this butter in to see if I did a good job estimating. Ooh, I did a really good job. So we're gonna pour that butter in there. Nice, hot, warm butter. I think that's what makes part of this recipe work. So now we're just gonna mix it all together. That's all we're doing. It says to pour into a grease loaf pan. I um, have a couple loaf pans that I love. I only cook it in glass loaf pans. Um, let me zoom up here now um, I only cook it in glass loaf pans it's just the way I was taught it's what we've always cooked it in I've cooked it in metal ones I'm also cooking on gas I grew up with electric so that also is a factor um, that I've tried cooking it now that I have um, access to a gas stove in my kitchen I've tried doing um, things that I used to do with an electric stove and it doesn't it doesn't work out the same because they're two very different animals, though I do understand why gas is generally superior. I'm not going to say it's superior all the time because I, I feel like my baking doesn't come out the same as it used to than when I was cooking in a different, um, if I was cooking in electric, but that's because that's what I was used to. So, And we don't want to overmix this. I just mixed this enough. Um, to get the all the ingredients mixed in, let me um, pop back over the island. So I just mixed it enough to mix all the ingredients in and leave some lumps from the from the bananas in. You don't want to take those lumps out, and you don't want to overmix it because then it completely destroys the integrity of your um, baking dish. Um, but let me get my favorite pans if I can remember where which drawer they're in because I haven't made it in a little bit oh there's one so I use 
This is one of my favorites. I love it. Um, it's, I believe this is, I can't remember if this one I got in an auction or if it was in the family. Um, either way, I'm happy because <laughs> I really enjoy that. And let me get a, I grease my pans with paper towel because pet towels are more biodegradable than plastic. And I just, I'm going to take my regular counter butter that I have right now because that's cold, um, much more, um, but you can see I'm just a pat of butter right on there and I'm just coating it with it. I don't like Pam sprays. I don't, they don't taste right for me. I don't like, I grew up on using Crisco, which is a vegetable based shortening um, for greasing everything. And that one isn't as bad to me. Um, I don't really like vegetable oil as a whole for cooking anymore. Um, I tried to use it in a couple recipes that I got recently in kits and it called for vegetable oil instead and I'm just ending up using olive oil because I find that the taste is substantially different and I don't enjoy the vegetable oil as much um, for a taste wise in my cooking. Baking, um, the recipes are centered around the original recipes, their original ingredients they're supposed to be around. Like there's um, definitely recipes that call for oleo. Uh, oleo doesn't exist anymore technically, um, but it means shortening. <laughs> and so I use my shortening for those recipes because that's what it's calling for. But I don't use it for recipes that, um, like I don't go out of my way to find a recipe that uses it. I will only use it, um, oh, everybody's here for the pouring part. So you just, um, I usually use, um, I really like these spoons. I don't know why. I think it's because a nostalgia thing. It's what I grew up with. It's what I, you know, know. Um, I'm sorry that this is a crappy angle for you guys, though. Um, now you can see it. It's all going in. Um, I find that these, um, what are they called? Bowl edge spoons or something. I don't know. I have a bunch on my wish list because this one, uh, <laughs> I broke one live when I was making my molasses cookies. And then this one here is on its way to breaking because um, we're not supposed to put them in the dishwasher, but some people in my house don't mind putting them in the dishwasher. So um, we have some that are more brittle. So I've, um, that's going to be one of the things that we stop doing. <laughs> especially going forward. Um, we uh, don't put our knives in the dishwasher. We're not gonna keep putting our wood products in the dishwasher. So there is a little bit of batter left in the bowl. It's not the end of the world. It really isn't. I'm scraping out as much as I can, but every recipe knows that you're gonna leave a little bit in the pan. Um, I'm just evening this out a little bit. I'm not gonna bang it or anything. I'm just using my spoon. Um, so it's a little more even. It's going to puff in the middle anyway, regardless of what you do. It will always be like bigger mounted towards the middle of this. I'm just getting a little bit more off that. And now I'm going to put it in the oven and hopefully, um, let me go, you guys can now see my um, shirt in its full glory, which I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get told that it's not great for streaming. Um, I'm wearing it with blue jeans right now, but I think it would look better with black or with like a darker blue jean. I just couldn't find any right before I did this. And I am in the middle of catching up on laundry because I have been sick all week. Um, well, let me put this in here. I'm still learning um, a couple things about um, ovens and stuff. So yeah, so this is uh, my banana bread. This is what it looks like before you bake it. Um, I will have it up on my Patreon as a recipe. Um, oh, I need to move one of these racks. Yeah, those are almost done. That looks nice. Smells really good for the, them too. Um, my banana bread might smell a little bit like vegetables. That's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> but I'm really excited. That meal's almost done. Um, it smells really good. I have my cup of tea finally again. Mm. I am, um, let me put this butter away. 
I did buy, there was, um, my favorite brand of butter was on sale uh, last week, and I bought like eight pounds of butter. Or actually, I bought more than that, but we're just going to leave it at eight pounds of butter. Uh, she, um, Jillian said to me, she's like, that's more than when one of our friends lived with us. And I was like, nah. I'm like, I only have two different kinds. I don't have like three, four different kinds. I only have two. Um, if you guys have any requests, please shout out with them as well. Oh, what is wrong, Indy? Um, shout out with them. Um, if you want me to see something that I bake, you want to see something that I cook, I will also be doing um, some other things on this channel, um, but you'll know what days those are because I will post like in a different category for those. But if I'm baking or cooking, you'll see me here. Um, and um, you can always follow me on my social media to know what's going up. I'm getting a lot better about... Um, Posting ad ahead of time, I mean not a lot of ahead of time, uh, but I will be getting better about posting like what the agenda is for the week, like picking out the meals, and then I will have, I have to figure out how I'm going to do this, but um, I want some of you to be able to cook along with me, so if you want to cook along with me, I can also um, figure out a way for that. I currently am doing every plate and local basket, but that's not always going to be the case. Um, there are other ones that I want to try, though I did just get another credit for every plate um, because a friend of mine signed up for it, so you get a credit for it. Um, and I'm enjoying it so far. I've only had like one meal that I was like, eh, and then I had really bad luck with, um, with meatballs. They're just not ideal. Um, I don't know why my dog is like was spazzing out, but I am really excited that I'm I'm hoping to go to New York next month. We'll see how that goes. Um, I have friends there, um, and all that. Um, yeah, so, um, <coughs> oh, I can smell the, the um, aromatics from the rosemary in the time right now. I'm just checking my timer because I feel like it hasn't gone off because it hasn't because for some reason I didn't set a timer. Why did I not set a timer? <sighs> well, let me check on these because now I have to check because <laughs> they are no longer... Ugh, valid. Um, the biggest thing I'm worried about is if the, uh, they're not quite done yet. Oops. Oh, the butternut squash probably is. Let me um, get a probe to do my chicken sausage. That's the most important part that I'm worried about right now is the, the doneness of that. Poultry. 165 for poultry. Right? That's what this says. I get really worried about like temperatures on meats. Oh yeah, that's done. So these are done. Um, oh no, I have to broil them. I have to put them on the broiler, which I'm gonna put this up a little bit. Oh, damn it. I just put the... Oh, I can, I can do this differently. No, I can't. Oh, no. I'm like, I have... I have a broil ability in my toaster oven. I just didn't want to switch it, and I forgot about the banana bread, and now I'm going to mess up the whole thing. And... That's very sad. No. Oh no. Can I leave banana? I get I'm gonna leave the banana bread in there. We're gonna see what that does. Cause I have to change it. 
Alexa, set a timer one hour. Because that's probably been in there about, what, 10 minutes? I'm going to have to go watch my own stream to figure out how long I've had that in. I'm getting alerts from something that I watch. Um, so we're going to do broil, hi, enter. And we're only going to do it for like a minute. So it shouldn't affect the banana bread. I am still terrified that it's going to make a difference. Um, I, I'm going to put this away. Put out two plates for my wife and I so we can eat. She'll be excited. She's not super keen on this because she's like, chicken isn't sausage. What are you doing? Chicken's not sausage. But it is what it is. I will post on my Instagram, um, which also goes to my Twitter, muffin underscore lives for both of those. I will post there for my um, pictures of my banana bread when it's done. Um, I now I'm thinking that I don't have any cream cheese in the house, and I like to have cream cheese on my banana bread. Um, I also only had two bananas, so we'll see how it turns out. It should be fine. It just won't be as full of banana. Um, and we are just broiling these for just a little bit, just to get that caramelization on them. And I will show you guys everything. Um, thank you to everyone that's following. I just saw that I have some new views. Um, I have to get a better way to see when you guys do that. I don't have everything set up quite that I can see it while I'm cooking. So I'm sorry if I don't mention, I will have those cool things that pop up on the screen that say, hey, thanks for joining, and like things like that. And I'll have a little like fun stuff for you guys to do on the screen. I just don't have that right now. Um, though I will be working on that. I'm trying to just at least get my profile done <laughs> um, first before I do anything else. Let me see where these are at because they should be pretty. Oh, some. Okay. Just another minute um, and see how that goes. Um, I also, when I was. Growing up, had a, uh, like I said, an electric stove. I had to leave the door open when you broil. Uh, you don't do that with a gas stove. And confused my brain the other day, let me tell you. Um, Jillian will probably be up soon to give me my fork and to um, taste the food with me live here. Um, I am excited. I don't know how excited she is. She's still convinced that chicken sausages and sausage because it's not made from pork. Mm. Let's see, I didn't use this board at all, so that's going to go away. Um, I am, if anybody has any recommendations for um, kitchenware, like cutting boards, I need one that's just slightly smaller than the one I've been using because the one I've been using doesn't fit as well into my dishwasher. Um, it does fit, I just want one that's like a little bit less. And the one I have is, it's like an awkward size. It's not great. Oh, here we go. Yeah, oh, I burned a couple little Brussels sprouts, but that's fine. You can burn a couple Brussels sprouts. I'm putting that back on to the baking. And oh, yeah. So um, let me zoom in on the stove so you guys can see everything. There we go, look at that. Yeah, you can see where I burned a couple little flakes, which is why I took out, like there was some just random Brussels sprout pieces earlier. I took those out because if I hadn't taken them out, they would have turned black like this beforehand. Um, I also, uh, I love parchment paper. I need to, I know it's by Dessert Works. Um, I just don't um, have their info at the moment for everything that needs to, for like how to order it from them. So once I have that, I will get that information up and to you guys. I'm hoping that they have, I know they have a page online. I just don't think it has um, all like a ability to order online. You have to do it through their email, but I will find out that information for you. Um, and then we can, oh, sorry guys, you can't even see what I'm doing. We'll do it on my other camera. I'm sorry. 
I need to remember I need to use smaller plates with some of these meals because the meal looks like it's so microscopic on these plates when you don't use the right one. Um, I'm surprised that Jillian isn't bounding up the stairs now. She must be in a really good storyline online um, to come get her dinner. I did burn a couple of these Brussels sprouts, but just the outside, so they should be fine going forward. Um, for, you know, taste-wise, you just take off the outside of it and it'll be fine. And I think this is it. This is like my meal right here. I'm excited. I will be fixing um, some camera angles and things. I'm still learning. I apologize. Um, but let me do a quick zoom in on that. Let me put this down on the stove um, so it can cool down a bit before I throw away the parchment. Um, I do parchment for cookies. I reuse, 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 reuse. Um, any meat product I throw away, um, any vegetable I generally throw away, unless I'm going to be cooking like a couple meals like in a row, like trying, I don't do meal planning, so I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, but I try to bundle it all together. But this is the meal tonight. Looks good. Nice. Um, I wish there was a little more darkness on my sausage, but it does overall all look good. And I'm excited for that. Um, Jillian will be able to pull a good picture, hopefully, on this. Let me get my fork. Oh, look at that. Mm, yeah. Look at that. Oh, so good. I know there's some darker parts. It's fine. Um, let me grab my fork. And taste these up. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That tastes really good. Let me take a little bit. Of, this is a date. Let me try to see that little tiny thing's a date. And then we have this, and then have a Brussels sprout. Oh, where's my date? Oh, it's good. I fixed the date. Those are dates. Those are dates. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree with this meal. Let me cut up some of this sausage so I can show you that as well. And I did temp it um, to make sure it was done. Oh, yeah. No, that's a done. But eating it all together is really where you're going to get all your flavor at. Is to, like, eat the sausage and the chick So the chicken sausage and the squash and the date and the... Brussels sprout all together. It is really hot, so sorry. Mm. And this is local. I can't remember where this came from. Mm. It doesn't say where it got the chicken sausage, but it is local. Um, they don't do a lot with that, but um, but this is a um, Test Kitchen original, so the local basket itself. This is one of their original recipes that they've done. A lot of times they pull them from magazines. They try to keep it as local as possible for that. They also um, pull from other magazine sources to, and they pair with restaurants in the area to come up with recipes. And some are more complicated than others, and that's fine. Um, this one is really amazing. Um, I'm gonna go drop downstairs in just a second um, and shoot that over. I don't know why my cam camera just did something really weird. That's bizarre. Um, but thank you guys. I greatly appreciate you hanging out with me as always. Just follow, um, if nothing else, I greatly appreciate it. If you follow me, that will um, just give me a little boost of support and know that there are people out there that um, wanna learn from me and wanna join me on my journey and all of that and I am very thankful for all of you and you can also follow me on my Instagram or my Twitter um, that is muffin underscore libs um, for both of those and then I do have a patreon which is upbeat duck and I have a um, YouTube channel which is upbeat duck so if you miss anything here on twitch twitch only keeps your videos for X amount of days we do export them and jazz them up a little bit and then put them over on YouTube. Um, they are actually streaming live right now on YouTube, but we'll take those down, the lives. 
and put up um, the more jazzed up version um, once the live is done because I just find it easier to do it that way. Um, if you do have any questions though, um, reach out. It's um, Megan at UpbeatDuck.com if you want to reach out to me at my email. Um, and we're working on getting my website back up, but we haven't quite figured out what it's going to be yet. So thank you so much for joining me. I will take pictures of the banana bread and post it on my Instagram and on my um, Twitter page. And if you need anything else, um, I'm here. I will be on tomorrow. I don't know what I'm making yet tomorrow, but I will be on um, at some point during the day. I'm aiming for 7. It doesn't always work. Like today, I was supposed to be on at 7.30. Um, I got sidetracked doing some things um, and getting my whole entire system to get set up. So I was on at like 8. So sorry about that, guys. Um, I did want to be on a little bit earlier. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Wah, wah. And uh, have a good night. And I'm going to go drink some more tea and eat my dinner. <laughs>